Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do a quick reading for you guys. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. All right, thank you God for blessing Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so let's see what's going on. How is Aquarius coming into the reading? All right, the Emperor is starting something new, open to opportunity, growth, abundance. Some of you are pampering yourself, getting your body right, or doing something with your hair, or maybe changing something about you. Some of you are just really, um, you could, this could be starting a new business, starting a new relationship. This is something where you're going to have to grow it. There's going to have to be growth and nurturing, a, a bit of cultivation here. So let's see what else is, uh, what's going on for Aquarius. The Six of Wands, very nice. So it looks like you're going to have help in business or um, you're going to have victory or promotion or somebody promotes something for you with the Six of Wands where maybe it gets you to a place of more visibility. If you aren't doing this, then you need to do this with the Six of Wands here. Um, don't mind the naysayers, don't mind the, the double-mindedness maybe of you or other people or the jealousy or the backbiting or just the strife that you've had to go through maybe to start this thing or to keep it up. Know that Six of Wands, it is, you're gonna find balance here because you've been through the tough times. You also may find help. Let's see what else is going on for Aquarius. Yeah, the Two of Pentacles, so it's like you're balancing some things out you're doing two different things maybe to earn income at the same time um others may find your life stressful but you're just making it work um this is the rhythm that you're in this is like learning learning curve new business job i don't know it's like you're just trying to keep it all up you could be trying to balance things out look at your finances you're transferring money from one account to another looking at the profitability or the loss of a situation or a thing you could be learning something while making it happen it's like doing two things at the same time so you've got a lot going on it says a lot is going on um things are up in the air but you're putting on a good face a good act a good front um yeah that's what we got going on there let's see what else is going on for Aquarius? You're growing two different things at the same time, too. Uh, the Two of Swords, another two. Um, unsure of a situation. This could be relationship-wise. Um, not having all the pieces, all the information. Therefore, you, you can't make a decision. So you're maybe double-minded two, of two minds about something with the two of swords here. You don't feel like there is cooperation. Um, there's a plan or a steady plan or in order for something to, the universe may want you to get into cooperation with, what is this about? What is the two of swords for Aquarius? Something about you and something else isn't cooperating yet. Another two, the judgment card is a 20, but it reduces to two. So all about decisions, um, this is before you, you go to that next chapter, next level in your life, whatever this is. Some of you are trying to weigh up, should you cut something off or cut somebody out? Or it could be both, cut one way of making money out or go and really put all your time into another, cut a person out. Because the Two of Swords talks about um, get advice before you cut off loved ones or um, you're gonna be in a place of indecision about cutting off a loved one. Uh, judgment, it's like you, you gotta make this judgment. You have four of swords. It seems as if you, the relationship is fragile or something is fragile here. So you've gotta plan it out. I heard directly, accurately. Like you have to have some plan or it can all fall apart. Um, you also may have separated yourself, maybe it either in terms of communication or it could even be maybe you put distance between you and someone because there's suspicion of infidelity that there's someone else you also are going through a healing process you would try to figure out if you should forgive someone 
that you should absolve them or they should absolve you of all of your wrongdoing or someone's trying to get you to a place of just forgiveness and, and allowing them back. They want you to make a snap decision about this. Could be another person. The universe is also asking you to be quick about this because the next card is the world. Like you're going to close out a cycle and begin anew. What is the advice for Aquarius here? What is the advice for Aquarius? The Eight of Cups. All right. So for some of you, you need to emotionally check out. This is a walking away, going into going on that spiritual journey. For some of you, you really need to kind of dive deep into your spirituality or spiritual practice, whatever it may be for you. Some of you, this is just going to be a walking away and it's out of self-respect. To stay in this would be completely disrespecting and disregarding your own emotions, your own feelings. You know you are discontent, bored, being taken advantage of, not getting what you want. So to stay would be, you know, just to be in that loop, in that cycle with that eight of cups there. So for some of you, it's like walking away, but it's not like you're walking away to another job or a relationship or a situationship. You're just walking away. You don't even know where you're going, but you know you can't stay here in this place because you, it, you feel like you, you're literally on a loop. You're on a, in a circle, so you're not going anywhere. Imagine driving in a circle. You haven't gone anywhere. Or, or all the places in the circle you've already visited, right? So it's like you, you want something linear. You want it to be moving towards something. So, but anyway, some situation here is, is um, just cyclical. Just goes in cycles where it's good and then it's bad. And then we cycle back to good. Then we cycle back to bad. And yeah. You know. All right. What's the advice? Ten of swords. Yeah. You need to let something in here. Um, also, this could be you cycling your emotions because you, you could be kind of, um, you know, at odds with yourself. This is the cards want you to know in the advice, Ten of Swords, Eight of Cups, Ten of Swords. This is the fullness of a thing. This is what you're going to get. If you've been in a place with a particular person, place thing, this is what you get. You're not going to get the Ten of Cups. You're not going to get the Ten of Pentacles. It's what you get. The Ten of Swords talks about the fullness, the completion. There's no more room for anything else. Um, so if you're feeling like if I wait it out, I'll get those other two cups, possibly not the 10 of swords. Um, this is an, a, a tough ending. This is like you, you leaving something out of self-respect and you being completely devastated because maybe you were in something for a very long time and you thought you were going to get what you deserved or what you you signed up for the queen of pentacles it's like the universe wants you to be reminded of your self-worth and that they want you to know that um you are a catch a good catch whether you're male or female um you have something to bring to the table you are uh, dynamic you are um, interesting you are uh, full of life you are full of growth um, you have something of substance or substance to bring. You have something tangible, even something tangible, valuable to bring to any table. And I think maybe you, you've you lost it or you lost that, that um, maybe lost yourself in this type of situation. Okay. The universe wants you to know that, you know, this is a very lucky, fertile fruit, very lucky fertile, maybe fruitful time for you. And that's what you need to be focused on. Some of you need to be focused on maybe starting something new, a new stream of income. You've got to let one thing go. It's you've gone the course here. There's nothing more there. So do this new thing. And if it's love and relationship, this is what you're going to get continuously. So know that you're a good catch and you have something offered to the world. You just need to put yourself out there. You need to be the queen of swords. So the queens are the doers in the tarot. So you need to be a doer right now. You need to be active. You need to be moving. Um, think about the chessboard. You know, the queens are 
they're protecting the king and they're you know they're the doers here um so the queen of swords is all about i know everybody says she cuts people out she is ruthless she's that yeah but you know um she's all about newness so she really psychologically understands in order for me to have a new something i can't take the old with me it's like saying you want a new house and you get the new house and on moving day the movers come and you know they're ready to move you and you say okay well i would like for you guys to pick up this old house and um, put it in my new house it's like what i thought you said you wanted a new house and you got the new house but you're trying to you're trying to take the old house with you it just doesn't make sense and that's why she's the queen of swords because she really understands really severing ties with the past with the old so that she can bring in new she is the executive she makes executive decisions so she's like the final say so that's what the universe wants you to be now in your life uh, yeah there could be a really dynamic relationship coming into a really strong responsible reliable rational one that makes sense these are people who make sense okay yes everybody wants to love and it could very much be love between you and this person but more than anything it's definitely going to make sense for you and this person to be together you're going to have somebody try to creep up from the past but we're not going there um i leave you with a, a card of advice moving forward one card from the angel answers deck wow you're ready and we see that the queen of pentacles telling you you're ready the queen of swords says you're these two queens here you need to be a doer you're ready uh, make the executive decision you have all that you need you are fertile you are abundant life is going to come into a more steady pace for you you are ready you're ready that's what I have for yeah like we talked earlier somebody wants you for to forgive them or there needs to be forgiveness forgive yourself and then forgive that person and if you feel like you don't want to be with them you can do that too it's all up to you but forgiveness forgive move on with them or without them but forgive don't harbor that all right that's what I have go over to the website get your own personal reading there or you can catch me live tonight Sunday night 8 30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time where you can come to the collective reading uh, ask a question or two if you are moved to do so um, also go to the website book there take advantage of some of the coupon and discount codes going on go over to the community tab get your discount code then go over to the website and book your reading there all right Thank you guys. Many blessings to you. Take care.